Hello guys, today in this tutorial we're going to learn how to install VS Code for Windows. This will work for Mac as well and for Linux. And we're going to do this for Python. And the reason we use VS Code for Python is that it's one of the best IDEs for Python. It's for one, cross-platform, so you can run it on Windows, Linux, or Mac. Uh, two, it supports a lot of pro programming languages, including Python. Um, three, it provides documentation for the Python language. Uh, four allows for debugging, so if you find any problems in your code, you can just uh, run the debugger and it allows you to step in, step out, uh, pause your code. And then there's IntelliSense, so that includes smart code completion, parameter info, content assist, quick info, and code hinting. And then you can also build and execute through a built-in terminal, and the terminal uses the typical Windows or uh, Mac command prompt or um, terminal, and in Linux it also uses terminal. So right now we're going to start off by installing Python 3. And you can either install Python 3 or Python 2, but just in this video we're just going to use Python 3. So go to python.org. Click Downloads and click Download for Windows. This should pull up an installer that you can save to your downloads. So open up the exe file and this will open up the installer. So um, we want to add Python 3.8 to the path because that just allows the terminal to properly uh, read any uh, extra libraries. And then we, uh, we want to click install now. So this will require an administrator. So you probably want an administrator pa password at the ready. So click yes and it'll start installing. All right, so the installer tells us that the setup was successful. So now we can just click close. And if you are running the Mac installer, all you have to do is just keep clicking next in the installer that pulls up there. And it, if it asks you to confirm any sort of uh, license agreement, just go ahead and confirm that. So now go to code.visualstudio.com. And that should get you to Microsoft's Visual Studio Code website. Now, the website will, will automatically tell you which version to download based on your operating system. So because I have Windows, I'm going to download the Windows Stable build. And it should start downloading in a minute. All right, so now it's finished downloading. So let's open up the EXE. And now we've pulled up to a page like this. So we have to make sure that we accept the agreement and then we can continue on. Uh, let's install it in this particular folder. And then here are some additional options. So I would select all of them. Um, again, add to path, you wanna make sure it does that. Uh, I'm just going to register code as the active editor for the supported file types and then add all these so it's easier to use. And then it's gonna confirm with you all of this and then just click install. All right, once it's finished installing, you can click Finish, and it will automatically launch Visual Studio Code. For the Mac side of the installation, uh, what you would do is, when you downloaded the program, it just downloads the .app file. Just drag that file to the Applications folder, and uh, make sure you have an administrator account or just enter the password. All right, so now we're in Visual, Visual Studio Code. So to start off, let's create a new file, and we're just gonna save this as test we're going to say this as test.py now it should automatically detect that this is the python file and it tells us that the extension is recommended for the file type now we should install this extension because it allows us to use many of the features like intellisense debugging etc so we click that and now it's automatically installing this Now the reason that we installed the other version of Python is because Visual Studio Code might not have picked up the most recent version of uh, Python. So we just wanna make sure that we have an updated version to work with. Now let's go back to test.py. And so we've set up the interpreter, but we haven't set up any linter. So we have to make sure that we set up the linter as well. So do the keystroke control shift P. And if you're on a Mac, it's gonna be command shift P. And then 
uh, search and select linter. So you want to click select linter, linter for Python and then just select any of these. I'm just going to use PyLint. It's going to tell you uh, in some cases that it's not installed. So like right here, the linter PyLint isn't installed. So we want to install this. So just click install and it'll install from the terminal. Okay, so Visual Studio Code has, finishing, has finished installing the linter and the linter basically allows us to do that um, auto-correcting and code highlighting and all that. It's just a Python reader. Okay, so now we can finally test this out. So just write some simple code like print hello world, save this and um, right click and click run Python file and terminal. You can also click this play button up here. And as you can see, it's right here. Now let's say we added something else. So uh, print I am Visual Studio Code and this will update in the terminal to print I am Visual Studio Code. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and please stay tuned for more videos in the future. Thank you.